Record. Um, Heya no naka de nebri ga hikui koi de unaru yo ni neneka yu no ga kikoi ta. So within the room, I could hear uh, the sound of nebri's um, voice. I think he's kind of annoyed sounding to groan, like his groaning, groaning voice, like growling. Um, and fu- fukiken na koi, which is a ominous voice. An ill humor voice, a, a pouty voice, a mm. contentious voice. Um, and Chris, on the guest mas. Right. Uh, kamiya no kara ne o hanasu to kono heya no. I want to say it's yoko te. Hi. I'm gonna tell you what that means. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so kono heya no yoko te ni mo hitotsu no doa ga aru no ni kizaita. So. When I took my took my eye away from the um, the keyhole, I noticed that there was another door next to um, or to the side of the room. Hi, right. and cookie on the guys' mask. So door ni chigatsuki is that is that how you pronounce it in this case? Uh, yeah. Chigatsuki. The reading. Right. Chigatsuki. Okay. Um, kas kazari no tsuita. Um, we saw this before, and that's the keyhole. Yeah. Hi. Kagiana or so on nozo Um. Okay. So at the door, and then it's like I think that's the closest part of the door, and then it's like kaza. Not sure what that is. So uh, kazari chikazu. means to decorate. Yeah, chikazuku means to approach to to get near to. Right. Yeah. So, so after getting near to the door. Mm-hmm. Um, I know Zoku. Mm-hmm. No Zoku, not sure what that one is. So it's you would coherent. recognize No Zoku if you saw the kanji, I believe. This also pops up a lot, I feel like, in the Magic Tree House. No. Is it the one which is to place on something? No, that's o- 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 Oh, we we've seen this. We've yes. seen this somewhere, yeah, but I can't remember. Right now. Um, this yeah. right here is to peek. To peek, okay. To peek at or to peek in. So right here we have Komu is making it very obvious he's peeking through a small kagi ana this ne. A small keyhole, yeah. Hi, hi. So that's why Komu is there. Mm. So you would nozoku into like the mess, the kiri, is I think where we saw that maybe. maybe yeah. Not. I could be wrong. Okay, mm. so we know some information about this keyhole. What do we know about it? Kazari means probably decorated. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's decorated. It's it's very fancy, in other words. Mm-hmm.はい。どうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうどうど
it's like as common as koma after a yes. verb. Specifically, really ma really with the small tu. So this is the only time you'll really see small tu. Like, for example, you might get like aka. For example, ma uh, aka. Ka. You don't normally see that, you know? Yeah. No, you yeah, there's wouldn't. some pretty weird ones too. Like for owl, like blue, it's masal. Masal. Oh, that's easier to say than ma aka. Yeah, well, it's makka. Makka. Is it makka? Yeah, there's there's no there's no additional ah. It's ma soku and ka. Ah, okay. Wow. Aka gets that pronounced is... differently. I guess the ah had to be killed in order to do the ma. The, yeah, the but basically. Weird. To do... Yeah, it's similar how masal has to get an s. And I don't think that there's a chisaitsu in masal. I think it's just masal. That seems odd. Yeah, that, that kanji does weird things to things. It's very strange. Am I crazy? Is is there a small two there? There might be. There's a small two. Sound. I think what's okay. confusing is that with S sounds with small two, it's not actually a glottal stop. It's something, it's a little bit, it's more like us. It would be um, masau. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a yeah. long consonant rather than a ma sao. That's I don't the... think it's a glottal stop in any case. It's, it's a glottal stop if it's akka. That's not that, a glottal that, stop. That's a glottal stop. It's not. It's a. It is a plosive. It's a different kind of plosive, but it's not a, it's not a glottal stop. I'm pretty sure it's mm -hmm. recorded as a glottal stop. That's weird. Well, we can look into it later. Yeah. It's your turn, oh. Chris. Okay. All right. Uh, so, kin no kazari ga tsuita kuroi robu o matoi. Uh, so, um, let's see, he was wearing a robe that had, um, a black robe that had golden decorations on it. And, um, he was wearing er, a, um, madoseki hung from a gold chain on his neck. Um, and cookie, onigashimasu. Ryugin ga ashirin, um, sai something, I forgot what that was. Sai to, and that's a tariru, tarin. So, wait, you read sai, it as a, sai something, I, I can't hear you. Yeah, uh, I, I also wanted to correct another thing you read, uh, it's uh, yugin ga tarin, not hashirin. Yeah, this is, um, mm. even though it's the ashi, it's the ta. Reading. Oh, tarin. Okay, so that means mm -hmm. to add and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it means to be enough. So oh, it's to not be enough. enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and then, then uh, saiko. Uh, saite. Saite. Okay. Saite demo ato hito mazu mazu wa naito. Um. So I'm not what I'm not sure what ryugin is. Um. No either. I can't. It's not in my dictionary. The amount of money we have? Ah, so uh, ryugin is a made up word for this book. That's what's confusing you. Um, it's it's gold, running gold, flowing gold, yeah, is what this is, and it's a made up word. Um, yeah. it would be flowing silver, it's actually slow silver in um, the uh, English version, so yeah, that's a made up word. It's gold because I would have thought no. it was gold because of the kin on the left side of that yeah. kanji. Um, if it was yeah. silver, I'd just expect um, just the right part of the kanji. Now that that whole kanji together is uh, silver. Mm, interesting. Okay. Yeah. Right. So they don't have enough running stream of silver, and then it's like, uh, saite. Um, I think that's the, but the bottom part, the most bottom part, I think. Afterwards, yeah, I think it'd be like the worst, or like it's like how cycle like literally means most high, but it means in practically oh, at the very least, yeah. yeah. So, at the very least, ato hito. Um, I think ato in this case would be afterwards, mm. and with hito, it's like hito too. Um, okay, and then mazu. Uh, so masu, I'm not sure what that. I'm not sure what. Looks that like is. hito masu is an entry. It it is. Um, masu would be the counter, I believe, in this case. What is so, it counting? Oh, um, a square, or something like a square on a grid is what it looks like. Well, I think measure container is more accurate in this contain in this context. 
because he's saying that um at so he's saying we don't have enough slow silver so we have something that i don't since they're describing silver this thingy as something that is like a liquid right because it's 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 a flowing mm -hmm. silver so logically it'd be in some kind of container so he's saying we're run we don't have enough so slow we don't have enough flowing silver um at the very least one more um serving basically one, mm -hmm. one more measure of that and then I we see. have that naito was that toll telling us um like um but or however something like that mm, yeah in this context yes mm. um or something bad's going to happen mm. but it's telling us Oh, I gotta clear my screen. I've got words on it. Um, so could the koiga chisaku natta no de, say kaku niwa, um, ki kitore na nakata ga, uh, kurai roji de, suki da sare ru naifu no yoni, saki da ta koida. Um, so there, um, he there's a very um small voice that um Kiki, this should be the eavesdrop, right? The catch. So he's able yeah, to Kiki told us to be able to understand. Yeah, Kiki total to catch someone's words. Um so he he was able he wasn't able to catch the exact words from this very quiet voice he could hear. Um however the sound the voice itself kind of cut through the dark um alleyway <laughs> I, mean, I, like, I don't think that's what's being said no it's not like no, it's, it's not cutting it was, like through a hallway it was blood it was bloodthirsty like a knife yeah sticking out in the in a dark hallway sticking or, out or not in a cutting dark through the hallway uh i guess it is sticking, sticking out, out. Yeah, it's not actually. It doesn't doing really the cutting, make it's sense in tree. English, though. It kind of makes sense, and no, uh, you wouldn't. You... In English, you would say like a knife cutting through. You you would use cutting in English. You wouldn't say mm -hmm. sticking a knife through. That's that's oh, not the saying. I don't think the knife is actually cutting into anything. Oh no, it's, it's just... yule. Yeah, it's just so it's a simile. It, it's an it's like a knife that's kind of almost brandishing, but not quite brandishing. You know, it it it's a knife that's out in a in an alleyway in the dark mm. right it, it's bloodthirsty in that way in the way that that knife is bloodthirsty yeah um your turn chris right uh i have to look up kawashi grim so um so the magician um with a grim face pointed to a corner of the room and um made a loud sound and um i heard the sound of another door opening And I think it closes afterwards, right? Oh, I tishima. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking maru. Um, and I was like, that feels weird. Yeah, I tishima. Interesting. Yeah, I so that's, uh, that's another close? door open and close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt uncertain about that. There, there's a lot to do there. Thank you. Um, sono ato, majutsu shi wa kochi ni se o muke, shodana ni chikazuite, atari o mimawashi, shodana Dane no Ichiban Ue no uh Ita O Oshita. Um so um right afterwards um the wizard he turns his back to like me because I'm looking through the keyhole and um he um gets closer to the bookshelf and kind of looks around his surroundings so he kind of like looks back and forth and then for the very tallest i guess panel of the bookshelf he pushes it yep 
Okay, and um, Chris, want to go to us? To Shodana ga sut to goki, nanto, sono shiro ni kurairi guchi ga arareta. So, um, the uh, sut to is, is there, is that in the dictionary? I, I, I can imagine what it's like. It's like a little, yeah, a little, yeah, suddenly. suddenly. Yeah. So, um, the bookshelf suddenly moved and some, uh, dark opening opened from behind. Um, and Cookie, on Gershmas. Majutsushi no, um, oh, I don't know what that kanji uh, bit there is. Sugata, um, Sugata, dan uh, Kieteiku. I think that's not, or Kieteiku, one of the two. It, it, yeah, may help to know that Sugata is just a noun. Yeah. Um, so it's like the magicians, um, I just see no, but I'm not sure what it means. Uh, it's kind of like the form or the shape of the magician. So this uses oh, a lot yeah. when we're talking about physically seeing something. Yeah. But yeah, I just realized. I just really remember. Pop up in English that much. Yeah. So the magician's form and shape were like gradually, um, <laughs> like extinguishing itself or something, like going. So so what, away. what this means is that when yeah he he basically it's saying he disappears because mm. but it, he doesn't disappear in a pop like he doesn't teleport. It's very obvious that he's like entering into the darkness so the dark is basically slowly engulfing him mm. but faster than slowly in a don don kind of way um next next line cookie okay uh we saw this earlier mm. uh sure something mm. did mm. you read this line earlier oh no i didn't uh kaidan ya adurashi um so I think that means the staircase. Um, yeah. And there's that Rashi word. We've seen this a lot lately. Yes, we do. We have. And um, I lost it. I just want to say uh, Vicious is awesome and Googled it. So there's mm -hmm. two, there's, there's multiple, there's multiple, there's multiple geminate consonants in Japanese, the glottal stop one and the frigative one. So there's, apparently there's two, according to yeah. his research. Yeah. I, huh. yeah. So both of us were right. So it's good. <laughs> good job wait, doing no, the that, research. Wait, that, that's not a global stop in Mako, though. Uh, that would be the Geminate one, right? I, um, I think both of them are Geminate. I think Geminate includes global stop and figurative stop. I think but both the, of those. Like Geminate the, is the big word and glottal stop is one of the way it is produced. I see. I think the glottal stop one though, I was I was also doing some research as we were reading. And I was trying to, stop... but I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. It I seems the really glottal stop one only happens at the end of a word. Like if you have like ah, like that kind oh, of thing. That guy? That's the that's the glottal stop. And only that case. I, hmm. I have another link that I'll share in the Discord. Um too many links. Hmm. But yeah, because the thing is like a glottal right is when you, you close your your glottis yeah right? so you you don't you don't actually close your glottis when you do like makka your, your glottis stays open is it it but, doesn't really but, stay open for me you, you close your glottis makka. it's like uh oh I, I guess theoretically makka. we're closing you you just put your tongue to like the palate of your mouth and that's i it. guess that's true i don't think the sound would be different though it, yeah, it really wouldn't if you actually closed your glottis or didn't. I personally don't close my glottis. I don't think that it's, it, yeah, it doesn't really change the sound. Theoretically, um, it would be the same sound if you were listening to it. Mm hmm Because what it is, it's just a silent. But geminate just means you're making a constant longer, isn't it? It's not actually about what you're doing to produce that sound, right? Mm -hmm. That makes sense, and yeah, I guess a glottal stop is it is a consonant. Uh, who knows? Linguistics. Good job doing the research paper. <laughs> and they will, mm -hmm. I'll read it. <laughs> yeah, at least we agree that like in like Masal, not a glottal stop. <laughs> oh, definitely not. De definitely not that. Yeah, it's not a not a 
it's uh, not a plosive. Yeah, I guess that's the thing is that the cut is a plosive and the glottal stop's a plosive. So if you make two plosives at the same time, you know, and they're articulating with a different part of your overall mouth, I guess, and neck. I mean, how can you really tell? Oh. You know, the airflow stops either way. Hmm. Uh, Before uh, we move on, um, what the, can I have a reminder on what uh, rashi was again? So rashi is, it's, it's, a, it's a vagueness word. We're saying it seems like. Okay, yeah, okay. So this is talking about, remember, he dan dan kieteiku. That's the way in which his form disappears when he's speaking through the um, keyhole. So that makes him make this conclusion, which is what? Probably, there's prob there seems to be a staircase. Yeah. So you know when people walk down the stairs, how there's kind of like a bomb, bomb, bomb? That's and right. That, that's what that don don illustrates. Mm. Um, uh, Shodane no iriguchi wa aita mama da. So the entrance that was made of the bookshelf, it is continuing to stay open. So it didn't automatically close. And um, cookie, onigashimasu. So I think that means, what do you think you're doing or something? Or what do you feel like doing? Mm -hmm. Hi. And this part as well. Oh, am I doing it? Okay. Hito majutsu na Ramita, Ramida. Um. Uh, okay, we've seen Kito before. Um. I've I've probably only seen it once, so I probably I, wouldn't know it just so yet. So Kito means like definitely, like for okay, sure. Okay, yeah. Now I remember. So definitely, he like he is like a he's definitely like a magician. This is majutsu rather than majutsu. Oh, it's definitely seems to be magic or something yeah some kind of magic spell related he's like hmm definitely magical something's mm. going on here hmm. and chris onigashimasu so i'm the i'm a magician's apprentice so i have to go follow and see what's what's happening yeah Oh, this guy, small cookie. Um, okay, so, is something is is so yeah, is so no, is so um, harigane or tori dashi doa o show my ya buri ni tori kakata. Okay, um. So I think it seems like at the beginning he concealed something. Um, mm, nope. So mm -hmm. so tori dasu means to take out. You might be uh, mixing up isoku with kakusu. They look kind of similar. The kanji. They the only thing, similar. the only reason why I think it, um, the only reason why I thought he concealed something is because of um the very first kanji. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's what I. That's think. not a kakusu. Yeah, Kakusu. they look similar. Kakusu does have isoide inside of it, like or at least something very similar. So you mm -hmm. could have a story with it. Because hiding is something you have to do really fast when someone's trying to find you. Uh because mm, this see. means to do speedily, like in a hurry. Isoide means ah. Okay, so so really quickly, um and then hari on it, that not sure what that is. So what this uh, the kanji here we have kane, which can yeah. be money, but a lot so of times money, it also yeah. is like metal. Gold. Metal will get that. Oh, metal, yeah. And then we have hari for needle. So hari gane is like wires, like the kind of wires you might use for lock picking. So yeah, he probably and then tori dashi means to hide it away or something, no. right? No. Do you know what toru means? Not in this context. Well, toru normally means to take. Okay, yep. You know what dasu means? Uh, dasu. Um, I've probably seen, if, okay, now, now that I'm seeing uh, the kanji for to take and then dasu, um, I can probably think about it, but I don't remember. Mm. Deep down, you know this. You just, I think, um, this, I blame this on dasu being taught as to leave. Is the meaning? It doesn't mean that. Yeah. That's what means to appear. 
So if you take something and it appears, what does that mean? You took it out from some yes. way. So what he does it means to take something out. So he probably he could have had this in his boots or in his hair. I don't know. He he's a lockpick and he he lock he hid his lockpicks in his hair or something somewhere. Mm. So he took them out. So he takes out his lockpicks. Um, and then he does um joma yaburi. Any um, idea what this might mean? We've seen it once before, but we saw it like really fast, and it was my turn. <laughs> Not your turn. <laughs> You know what yaburu means? Uh, that means to uh, tear apart or yes. to rip. Yeah, it does. And jo means lock. So together it means to unlock something by picking it. Jo ma hmm. yaburi, breaking a lock. That's an interesting. That's an interesting way of looking at it. Um, and the uh, tori kakata here is a version of toru to take that you don't normally see, and it's basically meaning to start, uh, to begin. So mm, he begins okay. to pick the lock of the door with his um, lock picks that he took out really fast because he's yeah. in a hurry. And um, Chris, want to go to us? Kitame wa toro no kagari poi do da ga hiranji stando bori to mokogiri ba o tsukatta kotta jodan. So I actually started reading this a little bit before because there's a lot of lot of terminology going on here. Hi, hi. So, um, so I would say that um, it appears to just be a normal decorative lock, but um, it is a complicated lock that uses a flange, a stud bolt, <laughs> oh, I guess. Who knows something? Stud yeah. bolt. Yeah. And there's one other, there's the Mokogiriba and serration, apparently. Right. That's interesting. It's it's pronounced as nokoriba rather than ko kyoshi. Yeah, that is weird. But their meaning seems to be the same. They're both teeth of a saw mm -hmm. serration. Yeah, in my dictionary, they're the same entry, kyoshi and nokoriba. Right. Uh, um, it's a darn good lock. What that mean? So it was an elaborate, yep. uh, elaborate lock. Hi. Yeah, I think I think that was everything. <laughs> okay. Um, iki o shizume, suboyaku te o ugokasu uchi ni yoyaku harigane ga pit ah pitato ah hamatte doa nobu ga mawatta. So I believe this is he held his breath, right? Iki o he held his breath. And his while moving his hands very smoothly and swiftly, um, he finally um, gets the fix the thing in the lock in a way that's like perfect. <laughs> the, the lock fix. This is like the stick into, but um, and this, but I it's like the stick in it like one hundred percent. So that means mm -hmm. I guess in this context to unlock the lock because now the door knob spins, so it's unlocked. And um, cookie, on a guy's mask. Do so, uh, do so to na, uh, so to a kete no zoki komu. You had no zoki komu no, earlier no today. Komu. Yeah, that's right. Um, wow, well, doesn't look like that. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Looks kind of like that, like if it was on a Game Boy screen. <laughs> yeah, it has has meteor on the right oh, side so of it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we did see that. Oh my god. Um. What could this be? Well, Miru is very much related to this word. I've forgotten again. So nozoku means to peak. Yep, that's right. To peek and at Komu something. Komu is meaning what with it? Kind of like adding into. Yeah, so to peek into something? Yes. Yeah, Which... okay. Um. So he was peeking through the open door? Yeah. 
So mm -hmm. he basically, I believe the saying, he opens the door. Mm -hmm. Um. So he, so he kind of slides quietly, opens the door, and kind of you know peeks in the crack he made. And mm -hmm. what did he find out, Cookie? Yosh, uh, there is no one. There's no one there. Perfect. So now we're gonna do the swipping zoom thingy. So we're gonna stop this meeting and start the next one. Mm -hmm.